Welcome to Analytics with Nux. In this video, I'm going to talk about synonyms as part of the SQL Advanced series. The SQL Advanced series is all about covering the real-time scenarios or some of the key concepts that is used only in the corporate environment. With this note, let's begin. Prerequisite of this series where you should have a basic understanding about SQL and SQL joins so that um, you will be familiar or you have a basic understanding about SQL. And all these uh, videos, I'm going to use the Adventure Works database. So if you have that one installed, that will be better for you to practice along with me. So you need to follow the these steps in order to install or have the adventure works database sql server ssms adventure works so let's jump into our today's topic purpose of synonym it provides an alternative name for the another database object meaning an object can be a table or any other object as it says right object can exist on local or a remote server meaning uh, object can be in another database or in the remote server that you create a link server in your database and then um, you can refer that object why we need to have an alternative name for the object because it provides a extra abstract layer right um, I will tell you what is that and it protects the client application from changes made to the name or location of the base object so if you uh, read through this definition you may not have a clarity on uh, what is synonym and why we need to go for it let's try to understand using some examples you have a server one uh, and that has a adventure works database right in the server one and you have a simple table here person dot employee assume you have another app db there some application is built on top of this app but only employee information you need to fetch from this particular database so usually how we will refer is we will refer like this server one this is server one and adventure works which is the database and person dot employee is the table name this is how you should refer the another server objects in the server two this is very complex or very uh, big right and also often sometimes this table can be renamed or um, this server will be moved somewhere else right so in those cases you will keep on updating this name your application can break um, this maintenance will be little complex so and there is another reason is like i mean this is one of the challenge another reason is like the application whatever using this particular object right they should not aware what is the exact object used in the databases so you will create some allies name so we will create a synonym like this let's say remote objects is your um, schema and you say employee table this is how you will refer this particular object over here this object will be referred as a remote objects dot employee table in this application so if you have it here then you are hiding the actual table name right it is kind of a security or abstraction we are creating and also it is easy to maintain if there anything or oh, changes here the server how the table name changes anything changes you will alter only the synonym here and any applications using it that can refer it can still continue to use this particular object this is how the synonym purposes and we have the go through the definition once again so that you will get it now provides alternative name yes it creates alternative name object can exist in our local or remote server yes um, the remote server is either the object the synonym object or the base object can exist in the same server or the remote server in our previous example that object exists in the remote server provides a layer of abstraction so you are hiding the actual table name uh, from the applications protects a client application from changes made to the name or location of the base object meaning the base object the base object can move to another server or they can rename it for future then you can your application won't break uh, once the i mean it will 
uh, you need to update the synonym that's it then your application still can run so this is how uh, the main purpose for the synonym let's try to understand this in a demo before that this channel contains a free content that covers uh, msbi power bi and fundamentals of uh, azure and a uh, lot more use this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin so first things first so for that right now what we are going to do is the um, example i'm going to demonstrate today is we are not going to create the synonym for the remote object i'm going to create a synonym within uh, the same server i have one server i have database one and database two in this database adventure works is there i have a customer data for this customer data i am going to create a synonym in this target database so this is my adventure works i have adventure works database here and dim customer let's go to our target database i am in target database now here we have a target database here uh, as i said we are going to create a synonym this is the syntax for it and then we are going to perform certain operations as well that is very important so it's not only creating the uh, synonym can refer only that object you can also do certain dml operation as well let's try to create one synonym i mean schema here for th for this purpose alone uh, okay we cannot create because i already created you can create using these scripts so the schema is created now in our case then i am going to drop this schema i mean uh, synonyms drop synonym if exist i dropped it now this is the actual syntax you should aware now what i am trying to say create synonym pbi that is the schema uh, dot that dim customer this is uh, any name you can give this is the schema it's going to reside in the target database for which object the object exists in another database that is three part identifier database schema table name if it is the remote object you will add server here server one right as we saw in that example the server one will be over here you will create the link services um, where is that uh, here it will be security sorry it should be programmability oh sorry it will be in the server server objects it is in the link services in the server you have a server objects link server. you will create the link service for another server then you will refer that one that is what it is but in our case we are not going with another server i don't have any other server with me so i'm just for your understanding about synonym i'm creating within the server so i'm removing that four part identifier i'm using the three part identifier now create synonym this is the syntax let's try to run that's it it has run now let's check the count of this records this is 18484 i can perform the same operation instead of referring the other object right let's say count of one of power bi pbi.dim customer this is nothing but whatever query you are running you are running against this table okay you can see 18484 18484 in the adventure works as well now this is not only select or uh, insert right you can also update let's try to check some data here i have picked up one case um, you can see uh, this particular uh, customer key this is a primary key for this uh, tables right i mean an alternative primary key here it, it doesn't have a middle name just we will add a middle name as uh, k okay for christy k let's try to put this uh, over here that alternative key i can put k now let me update it so i'm updating in this synonym but it will reflect in the actual table in another database so you should have a, a sufficient permission to run this activities as well so this is how the synonym is used across um, real time to have abstract layer you are not touching the actual object but you are using the alternative names 
in another database i hope you understand the purpose of synonym what are the different options you can learn you can learn more in our microsoft blog that is available over here i will share the link with you if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and if you are watching this video for the very first time in this channel please do subscribe to not to miss such a contents and do remember that data is your asset